Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, first of all, let us discuss properties of regression coefficients. And the first property is correlation coefficient is the geometric mean between the regression coefficients. Now the regression coefficients Byx which is equal to R into sigma y over sigma x and Bxy which is equal to R into sigma x over sigma y where Byx is the regression coefficient of y on x and Bxy is the regression coefficient of x on y and R is the correlation coefficient and sigma y is the standard deviation of y and sigma x is the standard deviation of x. Now dyx into dxy is equal to r into sigma y over sigma x into r into sigma x over sigma y which further implies Byx into Bxy is equal to R square which further gives R is equal to plus minus square root of Byx into Bxy. Thus we can say that the correlation coefficient R is the geometric mean between the two regression coefficients Byx and Bxy. Now from this equation we have R square is equal to Byx into Bxy which is further equal to summation of Dx into Dy over M into sigma x square into summation of dx into dy over n into sigma y square which implies r is equal to summation of dx into dy all upon n into sigma x into sigma y which is called Product moment formula due to Carl Pearson. Now let us start with the second property and which is if one of the regression coefficients is greater then unity numerically the other must be less than unity numerically Now the two regression coefficients are Byx and Bxy. Now let the regression coefficient of x and y, that is Bxy, is greater than or equal to 1. Then this implies 1 over Bxy is less than or equal to 1. Now let this be equation number 1. Since Byx into Bxy is equal to R square 
this we have true value. Now we know that the value of r varies from minus 1 to 1. So b1x into bxy is equal to r square is less than or equal to 1. Therefore, bx is less than or equal to 1 over bxy is less than or equal to 1. And this is from this equation. That is from the equation number 1. As 1 over bxy is less than or equal to 1. So we have taken one of the regression coefficients that is bxy greater than or equal to 1. And we are getting the other regression coefficient that is dyx is less than or equal to 1. Similarly, if dyx is greater than or equal to 1, then bxy is less than or equal to 1. Now let us discuss the next property that is arithmetic mean of the regression coefficients is greater than the correlation coefficient. Now we know that the arithmetic mean is greater than the geometric mean of the given series. Now for the regression coefficients bx and bxy, the arithmetic mean will be byx plus bxy whole upon 2 is greater than the geometric mean and that is square root of byx into bxy or we can write byx plus bxy whole upon 2 is greater than r because the correlation coefficient is the geometric mean between the regression coefficients. That is, because r is equal to square root of bx into bxy. Therefore, we can say that the arithmetic mean of the regression coefficient is greater than the correlation coefficient, which is r. Now, let us discuss the next property, and that is, the correlation coefficient and the two regression coefficients have the same sign. Now let us start with its proof. Now we know that the regression coefficient of y of x that is dyx is equal to r into sigma y over sigma x where r is the correlation coefficient, sigma y is the standard deviation of y and sigma x is the standard deviation of x. And the regression coefficient of x and y that is bxy is equal to r into sigma x over sigma y since sigma x and sigma y are both positive therefore bx and bxy have the same sign as that of R. That is, if R is positive, then BYX and BXY both are positive 
and if R is negative, then BYX and BXY both are negative. Now let us discuss the next property and which is the regression coefficients are independent of the origin but not scale. Now let us start with its proof. Now here let u is equal to x minus a over h and v is equal to y minus b over k that is u is equal to x minus a whole upon h and v is equal to y minus b whole upon k where a, v, h and k are the constants then the regression coefficient of y on x that is b y x is equal to r into sigma y over sigma x will be equal to r into now sigma y will be equal to k into sigma v whole upon sigma x will be equal to h into sigma u which is further equal to k by h into r into sigma v over sigma u which is equal to k over h into b v u that is b v u is the regression coefficient of v on u. Similarly b x y will be equal to h over k into b u v. Now here b x y is equal to h by k into b u v that is the regression coefficient of x on y is equal to h by k into the regression coefficient of u on v. Therefore, both b x y and b y x are independent of the origin that is of a and b but not of the scale that is H and K. Now let us discuss the angle between two lines of regression. Now the regression equations are given as y minus y bar is equal to r into sigma y over sigma x into x minus x bar the whole and x minus x bar is equal to r into sigma x over sigma y into y minus y bar the whole. That is the equation number one is the equation of regression of y on x and the equation number 2 is the equation of regression of x on y. Now, the slopes, that is the slope m1 is equal to r into sigma y over sigma x, that is, for the regression equation of y on x, which is given by equation number 1 and M2 which is equal to sigma y over r into sigma x and this is the slope of the equation or the regression line of x and y which is given by the equation number 2. As we know that for a line y is equal to mx plus c, slope 
is given by M, which is the coefficient of X in this equation. Now, theta lunar angle between the line, that is the regression line 1 and 2, then tan theta is equal to plus minus m1 minus m2 whole upon 1 plus m1 m2. Now putting the values of m1 and m2 in this equation, this is equal to plus minus r into sigma y over sigma x minus sigma y over r into sigma x whole upon 1 plus r into sigma y over sigma x into sigma y over r into sigma x. On solving this, this will be equal to plus minus 1 minus r square by r into sigma x into sigma y whole upon sigma x square plus sigma y square. Since r square is less than equal to 1 and sigma x and sigma y are positive Therefore, positive sign gives the acute angle between the lines. Now we have got this as the value of tan theta and by these conditions tan theta will be equal to 1 minus r square by r into sigma x into sigma y whole upon sigma x square plus sigma y square. That is, we are considering only the positive sign in this equation. Now let us discuss the corollary 1. That is, when r is equal to 0, then tan theta will be equal to infinity and this implies theta is equal to tan inverse infinity which is equal to pi by 2. That is tan pi by 2 is not defined. So for r is equal to 0 we are getting theta is equal to pi by 2 therefore The three lines of regression are perpendicular to each other. Hence, the estimated value of y is same for all values of x and vice versa. That is, the estimated value of y is same for all values of x and the estimated value of x is same for all values of y. Now let us discuss the second corollary and that is when r is equal to plus minus 1 then tan theta is equal to 0 implies theta is equal to 0 or pi. Now we are getting theta is 0 or pi hence 
the regression lines coincide and there is perfect correlation between the two variates x and y that is if the angle between the two lines that is the two regression lines is 0 or pi then the two regression lines coincide and there is a perfect correlation between the variates that are x and y and conversely when tan theta is equal to 0, then this implies 1 minus r square over r into sigma x into sigma y whole upon sigma x square plus sigma y square is equal to 0. And this implies r square is equal to 1 and this gives r is equal to plus minus 1. So as r is equal to plus minus 1, therefore, there is only one line of regression that is the two lines of regression coincide if r is equal to plus minus 1 and there will be a perfect correlation between the two variates x and y so in this session you have learnt about properties of regression coefficients and angle between two lines of regression. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.